How's it going guys? My name is Lemna Cop, and in this video I'm going to be showing you guys how to get your hands on your very first sneaker bot. So guys this video is going to be a pretty quick video. If you guys do enjoy it or I hope you guys out in any way, please be sure to hit that like button down below and hit that subscribe button for more content. I just did a thumbs down but don't thumbs down the video, like the video and hit that subscribe button. I don't really have anything to say in the intro of this video guys, I just want to thank you guys so much for all the recent support. So without any further ado guys, let's just hop right into it. So there are three main factors you need to take into account whenever you're getting your first sneaker bot. Now the first one is going to be the price range of the bot. Personally, I think the best price point for your very first bot is $300 to $500. It kind of varies on what bot you want and what you need it to do. Later in this video, I'll be giving you guys some suggestions for the best first sneaker bot. Really that $300 to $500 range is going to give you a pretty good bot that you're going to be able to run on most sites and you're going to be able to get the hang of how to run a sneaker bot. Now the second thing you need to take into account is its effectiveness. Now whenever I say effectiveness, really I just mean like how good the bot is and what sites it covers because obviously all bots are not going to be the same. So for instance, I'm just going to compare Cyber All in One to like EVE All in One. As of right now, EVE All in One is not doing too hot. You can, pick a, you can pick up a copy somewhere around 300, 350. It's not doing too well. Like it's not gonna be a Cyber All-in-One, which if you guys don't know, Cyber All-in-One copies go for like $4,000 right now, but it's probably the best bot on the market. Obviously it's gonna drive the price up. So if you can afford to spend like $1,000, obviously you're gonna get a better bot than you would get if you're spending $300. Another thing you need to take into account is what sites it runs. So most bots are going to be on the one bots, which by the name suggests you're going to be able to run most sites. For instance, if you have a bot like F3, which is only a Supreme bot, it's only going to be able to run Supreme. But if you have a bot like Project Destroyer, which is an all in one bot, you're going to be able to run Supreme, Foot Sites, Shopify, and a bunch of other sites. Whenever you're just starting out, I would highly, highly suggest you get an all in one bot, just because it's going to cover all your bases. Now the last thing you need to take into account is the maintenance fees. Now some bots have renewal fees every six months that range anywhere from like $50 to $100. But on most bots, you can obviously pick up lifetime copies, but they are going to be more expensive because there's not any renewal fees. Personally, what I would suggest doing if you are super new, just getting a renewal copy of a bot, maybe keeping it for a few months, seeing how you like it, then if you do like it that well, you can upgrade to an, a lifetime copy. Last but not least, guys, the next thing you do need to take into account is how hard the bot is to use. So most bots are going to be pretty easy to use, pretty self-explanatory. But on the other hand, some bots aren't. For instance, a bot like the Kickstation is pretty hard to use, but once you know how to use it, it's a really good bot. And then on the other hand, you have a bot like Project Destroyer, which can be actually both. They have an advanced view and a basic view, which is really nice. So before you do jump into a bot, I would highly suggest making sure you know how to use it. Maybe run it out a couple times, get familiar with the UI, just read all the guides and all the extra material. That's pretty much it guys for the things you need to take into account when you're getting your first sneaker bot. Let's talk about what bot's probably going to be the best fit for you. So if you guys are a brand new beginner, like you've been in the sneaker game for a couple months, I would highly suggest going manual for a couple months just so you kind of know what's going on. But once you have a feel for the sneaker game and you kind of know like what's happening, I would probably suggest just picking up an all-in-one bot. Like I said, for that three dollars to $500 range, if you can go higher, I would highly suggest doing so. Personally, my favorite beginner sneaker bots are going to be bots like AMB All-in-One V2. Project Destroyer, Oculus on the one is not bad for the price. Soul on one's been doing pretty good for its price range. Guys, these all are going to be renewal copies, by the way. Lifetime copies go for a little bit higher than 500. Nike Shoe Bot's going to be a pretty good beginner bot. That's pretty much all I can think of off the top of my head. If you guys have any suggestions, definitely leave them down in the comment section below. Now I know I've been saying you should pick up an all in one bot if you are starting out, but I do want to briefly talk about the different types of bots that there are. So the first bot we have is an all in one bot, like I've been saying. This is pretty much going to cover all your bases from Shopify to foot sites to pretty much everything you need. And then the second bot we have is going to be a Supreme bot, which like the name suggests is only going to be for Supreme. Next up we have Shopify bots, which are only going to run Shopify sites, which if you don't know what that is, basically pretty much just a hosting plan for sites. I mean, you, should, you probably know what Shopify is. I'm sure you've shopped on a Shopify site. The next bots we have are Nike sneakers bots. Personally, I would suggest staying away from those, especially if you're a beginner, just because they're so inconsistent and they do cost a pretty penny to run. Next up we have is the Adidas bots, which guys, really as of right now, Adidas doesn't really release shoes to the splash page anymore, unfortunately, but they have been doing a couple. So I mean, if you are a beginner, I wouldn't suggest picking up Adidas bot right away. Maybe a couple months down the road, you might want to pick one up or just find an all-in-one bot that has Adidas with it. And then last but not least, guys, we have iOS bots, which basically are just going to be bots that you can run off of your phone. Usually I wouldn't suggest running iOS bots just because compared to desktop bots, they're not very good. I would probably only suggest getting a Supreme iOS bot if you do want to try out an iOS bot. So those are pretty much everything you should take into account when you are getting your first sneaker bot. I would highly suggest saving up as much money as you can when you are getting started. 
Personally, I think the Kickstation is going to be a great beginner bot, but you do have to take some time to read all the guides, read all the manuals, and take some time to get used to it. I believe renewal copies are going for somewhere around $1,000 as of right now, so if you can't afford that, I would highly suggest checking it out. And if you're just a baller and you have like $5,000 to spend, definitely check out Cyber or Kodai. Personally, Cyber is one of my favorite bots. It's definitely the best bot on the market as of right now. So if you can't afford it, I would highly suggest looking into it. And if you guys want to see more videos of me going like more in depth on each bot, telling you guys like where I would rank it, like how hard it is to use and all that, definitely leave a comment down in the comment section below. Also guys, if it did help you guys out in any way in this video, please be sure to hit the link button down below and hit that subscribe button for more content. Be sure to follow my social medias, everything's in the description below. If you haven't already, be sure to join my Discord and add my Snapchat, all that good stuff. Also guys, if you are looking for a premium sneaker Discord to join, I do own one, Unlimited Cook. For only $25 a month, you get access to like extensive release guides, monitors, just pretty, I don't even know, everything. Whatever you need, ticket reselling, sneaker reselling, Supreme, stocks, crypto, just all that good stuff. Link, links in the description below. That's pretty much it guys. I hope you guys did enjoy. I'm Unlimited Cop. And I'm out.